Uh, Senator from Mississippi. Senator from Iowa's time. Uh, let me join her and the Senator from Missouri, uh, and uh, may I associate myself with their remarks and their support not only for the March for Life, which will occur on Friday, but also for the no taxpayer funding of abortion legislation, which uh, I'm proud to be the principal co-sponsor uh, co of, and which will, uh, we hope, be voted on on the Senate floor uh, by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, I, was, um, I was a pretty young uh, staffer for then Congressman Trent Lott in 1981 when I first became aware that there was such a thing as the March for Life. Uh, I can assure you it, it will be much more massive this year uh, than it was back in those early days when Americans were struggling with what Roe versus Wade meant and when they weren't quite so sure what the science was about this practice of abortion. As each year passes, as more and more parents see that sonogram, as more and more grandparents, and I'm the grandparent of uh, six now, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm buddy to six beautiful grandchildren, uh, as we see those sonograms early on, we see the feet, and we see the heartbeat, and we see the faces of these children. We, we realize as Americans, and more and more Americans are coming to the realization that this is a living human that deserves protection. Um, and Senator Blunt was um, accurate in saying we have good polling. The polling is coming around to our way. You know, even if some people consider themselves to be pro-choice, you, you delve down into the figures and you ask them the questions, it turns out they aren't quite so pro-abortion as people might think. For example, when we ask the question that the no taxpayer funding of abortion bill goes to centrally, do you support taxpayer funding for abortion? 24% oppose and 30% strongly oppose. A majority of 54% of Americans, some of them who actually would check the box and say they're pro-choice, 54% of all Americans say, no, we shouldn't go so far as to provide taxpayer funding for abortion. That is what this legislation tomorrow afternoon that will be considered on the floor of the Senate would do. When asked uh, uh, another question, uh, should abortions be banned after 20 weeks with the exception of the life of the mother, 59% of Americans, 59% of Americans say yes, um, they strongly support or support banning abortions after the 20th week. So I would say that the March for Life is working year after year, step after step, and I hope we get a good vote on the floor of the Senate tomorrow. Do I think this is going to sail through the House of Representatives and be sent by Nancy Pelosi's House of the President for a, a signature? Probably not, but we make the case and we warmly welcome these marchers for life each and every year. And we appreciate what they have done to move the needle of public opinion and to protect those innocent people who have no way of protecting themselves. And I'm, I see that we are joined by my distinguished colleague, the senior senator from Nebraska, and perhaps she might have some remarks to say, but um, I'll, I'll uh, yield the floor at this point. 